So I had my shoelace. Then I was thinking, so what else do I need to know? Knots. And the best place to learn about knots is on a big sailboat, because when you're way out at sea and you're a sailor, knots can mean the difference between life and the other thing. So if you're a sailor, like my man Mike here, knots are super important. When was the first knot tied on the ship? Probably on the first ship. Which was when? I don't know, but we're the uh, second oldest profession, so. Ah, uh, first oldest? TV host. TV host. Yeah. <laughs> we are paid to make people happy and bring them pleasure. Yes. Mike has literally sailed around the world. So he knows maritime knowledge that only the most hardcore maritime people know. Here is our bitter end. Uh, the bitter end is the end of the line, and we're gonna take that out and start to work with it. Hold on a second. Yes. What's this other end that you're not doing anything with? Right now, that's the standing end. The standing end. Now, say I went like this. Oh! Bitter end. Bitter end. Standing, standing end. end. You Doesn't totally matter. reversed it. If you just grab the bitter end and back it down Oof, on the standing we made end, a loop. we made it not a loop, a no. bite. A bite? This is a bite. I really, really want to call this a loop. Not a loop. Don't really? do it. Don't do it, because there is a loop. Mike showed me the basic building blocks of all knots. In addition to the bite, there's the overhand loop, the underhand loop, the turn, and the round turn. All of those things combined will make any number of knots. Mike joined two lines together using a square knot to show me how smaller components like bites combine to make functional knots. Thank you, Mike. I mean, what's cool oh, about it is you can bites. see the structure. Yeah. Two bites become, do it. A properly tied knot maintains its structure due to friction. And as the friction increases, it actually gets tighter. That's ingenious. So we were having fun on the ship learning about knots, and then all of a sudden, Mike turned around and basically dropped a knot-related bombshell on my head. Let's say this line can hold right. 100 pounds strong. Right. Right. Where I've made this knot, it's 65% as strong. I've lost about 35% of the strength of the line. Are and you serious? Yes. I'm, I'm very serious. I'm dead serious. I lost 35%. So a shoelace is never stronger than untied. Right, that is. As soon as you tie your shoelace, you've weakened it. Yes. 